boy, oh boy, this little tablet is it's pretty great. <laughs> so there are a lot of good things I want to say about this little tablet. Um, there is just one minor like complaint that I had, but it was really no issue at the end. So let me start off with um, the good things about this. So just to recap, I am reviewing the Huion um, Inspiro H430P tablet. It's one of their newest tablets. At first I thought it was going to be a problem because of how small it was since I'm not used to it, but in the end it didn't turn out to be that big of a deal. Like I did, it did take me a while to get used to just because I'm more used to a more surface area on the tablet. But after a while I got the hang of it and it was really easy to adjust to. Uh, what I really loved about working on this tablet was, I mean, the hotkeys for one are very helpful. I've never used hotkeys before and now I'm glad that I am able to try them out. Like, it's not really that big of a deal, but like hotkeys are a big deal for me, okay? They're a big deal for me. Working on this tablet, like actually drawing on it with the pen, feels very, very smooth. Uh, in comparison to my other tablet uh, that I have, which is the K58, it's a very smooth and very like slick surface area, so it's easy to like scratch at. Uh, but this newer Huion tablet, it feels smooth and like it feels like I'm drawing on a silky surface, but it's not too bad. Like I can still feel some sort of friction and I think that may be because of the pen tip, but whatever it is, it feels very, very nice. I liked how smooth it was. I will say though that if you are someone who is very heavy handed, meaning that you put a lot of pressure on the pen when you draw, then maybe this wouldn't be that great um, because it is very smooth and very slick. And since I'm a little bit more on the light-handed side, I'm a kind of light-handed person, I don't have to put too much pressure down on the paper or on a tablet when I draw. So this wasn't that hard for me to draw on. But again, this might feel different for someone who is heavy-handed. So uh, yeah, just something to keep in mind. Now to talk about what I didn't like about this tablet. When installing a new tablet to your computer, you have to make sure that any old drivers from any other tablets are removed, are completely uninstalled, because that can interfere with the newer driver, and your tablet might not be able to work. I learned from that in the past with my other tablet. So this time around I made sure to remove the driver from my previous tablet and installed the new one that was provided in the little sheet that was provided to me in the box. Installation was easy, there was no problems whatsoever. However, when I tried to open up Paint Tool Psy, the cursor would not move. And I thought this was kind of strange and I thought, well maybe I just have to play around with it a little. And after trying so many times, you know, I tried to plug it in after I opened Psy and then that didn't work. So I tried to plug it in before I opened Psy and that didn't work either. And so I tested it out on other drawing programs, like I tried Fire Alpaca, I tried Krita, I tried Flash, and it worked just fine. The pen pressure worked just fine, the cursor moved just fine, it was able to detect the tablet perfectly well. So I was confused as to why it wasn't working on Psy. After doing a little research though, I discovered a way to fix this problem and it was an easy peasy solution. All I had to do was open up the, the pen tablet program and it has like all the options to like adjust the pen pressure and all that good stuff. And all I had to do was click a button that says administrator privileges. And right after I clicked that, I tried to open up Psy again and use the pen tablet and it worked perfectly fine. The cursor moved, it, it was able to detect pen pressure. Crisis was averted, and I didn't have to uninstall anything, I didn't have to reinstall anything. It was only a minor hiccup that I came across, and again, easy fix. Maybe it was just a problem with me, I don't know if other people with this tablet had that problem. Though I'm pretty sure it's just bad luck with me, I have terrible luck with tablets it seems. 
But if anyone comes across that problem where you open up Psy and the tablet won't work, then I think just clicking the administrator privileges option will get it to work again. So all in all, this tablet was a delight to work with. I am actually, I actually haven't stopped working on it since I installed it because it's just so easy to carry around. Like it's small and it's portable and it only needs a USB plug-in cable. Um, the, the little box that it comes in is small enough so that I can put it in my laptop bag and also put my laptop in and I can take anywhere with me. I can set up my laptop and pull out this little tablet and work anywhere because of just how easy it is to carry around and so like small and I don't know I didn't think I would like it so much but apparently I do. I am a person that has never had any experience with like other tablets that aren't from Huion though. My first tablet was also Huion and I have been using that tablet until I got this newer one and this newer one is like an improvement from the old one I had. For me at first it was a little iffy that these tablets were a lot more affordable than other brand tablets. However, the quality is still perfectly fine. It works like a tablet should, it detects pen pressure, it feels just fine. And from what I've seen from previous models, they just keep getting better and better and better and better. I would totally recommend the Huion Inspiro H430P tablet. Um, if you are an artist that is just starting out or don't have a lot of money, and you are looking for a tablet of very good quality, but that it's a little bit more on the affordable side, I totally recommend this tablet. A big thanks to Helium for allowing me to have the opportunity to review this lovely little tablet. And thank you to you guys for tolerating my voice and listening to what I have to say. If you are interested in purchasing this tablet, I will provide a link down in the description below. <laughs> Please enjoy the rest of this speed paint, and I'll see you later, hopefully. Okay, bye.